Not you, puppy. You're wonderful. Puppy's <laughs> sitting there. Got me self esteem issues now. <laughs> Let's get all the flops back up on the stage for the name of Water Buoys. Oh. So, um, this is a game we made up in the um, pandemic because we could play it online. Well, some games don't work well in virtual space. This is a sort of an elimination category game. We're going to get some kind of human activity from you. First person in the line will come up with something in that activity, and everybody else has to come up with something else, starting with the same letter, until invariably someone will fail in some way. They'll repeat, they'll screw up, they'll have nothing, or they'll say something ridiculous. And at any point, one of the flops can challenge them. They'll say why they're challenging, the person gets to defend, and you, the audience, gets to decide who gets thrown out of the damn game. Right? You're never going to throw people out of this one. All right, so let's get some kind of human activity for us. Farming. What's that? Farming. Farming! I love it. Farming is, in fact, the activity. And the moon man's going to start us off. Milking. M is the letter. <laughs> challenge. I challenged Joe Lobb. Joe Lobb took too long. Joe Lobb was stalling for time. I go, um, that was the bees buzzing. Uh, bees, bees don't start with that. So that's my challenge to Joe Lobb. Joe Lobb, what is your defense? It's the bees. That's the sound they make. Uh, no, okay. All right, all right. By applause, should Jolab get kicked out of the game? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> By applause, should I get kicked out of the game? <laughs> and how do we kick me out of the game? What do we yell? Nah. Nah. <laughs> oh, the worm turned badly there. All right, let's get a new. Let's get a your teeth, my friend. Let's get a new form of human activity that hopefully we can name more than one thing in. <laughs> drinking at a bar. Things associated with drinking at a bar. Joe Lobb, I'm going to give you the honor of the first one. Since I was just in Ireland, Guinness. Guinness, okay. The letter is G to Mrs. Meatwad. Girl is. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Good. Glasses. Grenadine. Mm. Galliano. Mm. <coughs> Grandma. <laughs> Gin. Gin and hot. Ah, bullshit. <laughs> 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 challenge. My challenge is she just took his word and added tonic to it, which doesn't start with a G. So if it started with a G, if it was gin and tonic, that's against the rules and Okay. No, you get that. Camera action, please. Okay, first off, who are you to say that Jin and Jonic would not instead start with J? So you're giving me a false out here, which I think in legal terms is a bad move. Secondly, if you drink just a straight bottle of gin, it's a very different experience from drinking gin and tonic. If you drink just a straight bottle of tonic, I don't know what that is, but it's a different experience than a gin and tonic. So really, is the whole greater than the sum of the parts? I say yes, if it means I get to stay in the game. <laughs> okay. So, by applause, two things hand, uh, sorry, Camel Treasure had the superior argument. Okay, this is great. What about hand rations? Somebody in Georgia is saying that about now. <laughs> 730. Yeah. Hey, hey, Donald. <laughs> so, <laughs> that lives forever once I put my knee in. I always wanted to do that to him. Okay. Told you be So, let's get another form of human activity. Sulking. Sulking? Oh, I like that. Mm. Sulking. 
walking, and let's see, the last one in the game was Cam, so it's the Moon Man. Depression. Okay, the letter is D. Defiance. Dreary. Donuts. Down in the ducks. Ducks. <laughs> <laughs> challenge. Okay, Hammerash, you step up. Speak your challenge. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> challenges have not fared well this night so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To quote the great John Mulaney, when one feels like a duck, one is happy. My association for ducks across all the time are playful, fluffy little yellow creatures, and yellow is the color of the sun, the color of happiness. Also, even when a duck is in a bad mood, I have never seen a depressed duck. I have seen an angry duck, but I don't think that's what we're talking about. And you know, if you pick me out of the game, I will be an angry duck. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's hear from uh, Moonman. Well, my sister raised a lot of animals on a jungle. Moonman was one of them. No doubt. <laughs> um, but she saved them for food. And my niece loved animals. <laughs> so when Virginia, the duck, showed up on the Thanksgiving table, <laughs> my niece sulked for months. <laughs> It tugs at your heartstrings. So! Go for the Yeah! I think that hand rations made the superior argument. Let's hear it. You got, you got the polite family. I'm actually only half your family. <laughs> Mom was there, brother, not so much. How about the Moon Man? One, two, three. Ah. Ah. I think you would have gotten louder applause, but it was such a sad, tragic story that we're all still in the grip of that. Okay, let's get another human activity. Road tripping. Road tripping. Mm. Road tripping. Uh, let's go to Joe Mob. Road tripping. Um, bicycle. Okay, bicycle. Letter is B. Two minutes of meatball. Here. Bratwurst. Buying stuff. Hmm. Bypass. Okay. Binge. Bibimbap. <laughs> challenge. Okay, Joel Up, step it up to challenge. Joel Up, please. As far as I know, that is a word that has just now been spoken for the very first time. Therefore, it has no definition and can mean nothing or anything. That's way too loosey-goosey for this game. Okay, okay. Thank you, Joe Love. Well, make your case. My husband is here today, and he will attest to the fact that our only purpose of road trips is to hunt out food everywhere we go. And if we could find a Korean restaurant with the best bibimbap in Des Moines, wherever Des Moines is, we will find that. <laughs> yes. Oh boy. Okay, you may have saved his ass. <laughs> Let's find out. So, um, who thinks Joe loved that? The superior argument. See, I thought he said beep and bop, but what he really said, I think, was beef and bop, so he made it. Beep and bop. Um, it's a Korean bop. dish, it's lovely. Okay. <laughs> you know, I have two Korean siblings, right? I can yeah. fact check this. Oh, <laughs> you should. I should. I, I can ne ne or neither of them, neither, for real, real, I do, <laughs> neither of them speak Korean. Uh, so, <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> who thinks Dropcorn had the superior argument? That's good. That's a good attitude, Joe Lobb. All right. So let's get another form of human activity. Dying. Dying. Oh, Dying. Oh, oh. Seems to be a theme tonight. Okay. <laughs> hey, popcorn. We were going to start us off here with dying. Morgue. Morgue. The letter is M to the moon man. Mortuary. Mortuary. Morbid. Mumps. <laughs> Could kill you. Money. Challenge. Go, Mr. Meatwad, step up and state your challenge. I couldn't think 
of a word starting with M that had to do with dying. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't feel like playing anymore. <laughs> Basket so hard that you flip over and you break the glass backboard and it shatters all over your back. Oh. When you're in the. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> they drip something into your veins. <laughs> it could be like blood or something. <laughs> I, just, I saw it on house. Say the word. I know you know it. We all know it. Don't say it, at least in the presence of adults. Right, because you get in trouble. I, I, I used to get in trouble all the time. So don't, 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 don't be me. All right, who thinks Mrs. Meatwad has.